Hello. I see her. PK scramble. Uh, switch to Mega Flavor and see what that does. But also, um, since the last part, um, I realized there actually is stuff in Winters <laughs> that I could check out. Uh, specifically, one key item. Let's uh, get a nice Psy teleport going. Uh, excuse me? Why does it look like that? Yeah, you. I'll send you, sell you a diamond for a buck. Yeah, I want the diamond. I have four side access. I should also check the shop here. Okay. Fairly low level shop. Which suggests that if I actually had bubblegum, this would be an easy area. However, I don't have bubblegum, so there's not really anything to do here. Okay, this looks right. Wonder what was up with the other teleport. Also, is that a tighter circle than teleport beta normally goes in? Uh, theater's not marked on the map. Wait, do I need more than just the diamond here? Don't I need like a ticket for the theater? the cafe. I don't really want to do four side stuff until I like feel more confident in how strong I am. Not a totally building. Department store. I don't think I need a butterfly right now. Capola, that's the theater. have your tickets ready. 30 bucks for a ticket. My hands are full. Uh, Joe will be starting soon, except I just want to go in here. You're a one runaway five fan, huh? What? Excuse me? Man owes me a million bucks. The police would probably say, hey, you guys. You have to find a huge diamond. Diamonds only cost one dollar in this world. Oh, you need to use it from the menu, I bet. <laughs> I'm gonna pay with this one dollar diamond. Now the runaway five are free. Diamond's worth maybe fifty dollars, you're right. You did give me a bargain. <laughs> They're headed to Threed. That's great, because there's a character check in Threed. Although... Okay, she's on. Thanks, kid. Have a little something for me. Got the Hawkeye. Can I actually ride with the band to Threed, though? Because I thought the way to Threed was... not that. Uh, normally in vanilla, you'd have already done Threed. Huh? What did he say? Okay, you can get on the bus now. Excellent. The path has been found. I don't know what to say about riding the bus. It's definitely like the hypest bus ride in all of existence, but it is a bus ride. I mean, it's even got a desert bus segment. 
I'm unsure whether Hope is involved, though. We have to say goodbye for now. This town seems pretty gloomy, but I'm sure you can light this place up with your little brand of sunshine or whatever he said. I already closed the text box. Alright. So I need to trigger the suspicious woman cutscene, which I think still requires going up and noticing some zombies. Wow. Oh, reduced an encounter rate is sure convenient sometimes. Oh, I'm about to get... Oh, hey, green swirl. I was gonna say, I'm about to get in a lot of trouble. Okay, they didn't die to that. They still didn't die to that. Fortunately, they all wasted their turn. 36 damage. Okay. Okay, nice. Now level 17. Oh, now level 18. Now level 19, and I got Freeze Alpha. Stares into your soul. It looks you over. Excellent. Just what I wanted. Also, is that just a... It's an actual trash can. There's a neutralizer. What's that do? Items for Jeff. When used during battle, resets the abilities of all creatures, friend or enemy, to their normal level. Any changes to the taken do just... Okay. Offense, defense, guts, etc. Alright. In consciousness, what could be the fate of Ness? Suddenly having a friend, although it's a flying man. Zombies threw me in here, I can break out anytime because that door is locked from the inside. But I was busy staring in disbelief because they locked the door of a prison from the inside. I'll be your courage. I'll remain unless you lose your courage, call me flying man. So yeah, one of the character checks is a flying man. I was really hoping to unload some inventory items, but flying man is amazingly strong early. So, I don't hate this situation. Um, I'm thinking like, do I go challenge Car Painter now? Um, well, I think first what I actually do is uh, go actually use item storage. That, that might be good. I don't think I'll be using the, uh, Hawkeye or Hieroglyph thing for a bit. And, like, I have, I think, like, a weapon for Jeff. Let's see, talk to Mom, both as a way to teleport upstairs, and because I am missing, like, 27 PP. Might want that. I guess the teleport upstairs probably wasn't valuable. Store items. Hieroglyph copy. Counter Psy unit. Right, let's keep the Franklin badge on me, but we can store the stun gun, the Hawkeye. I'll keep the pencil eraser with me. Neutralizer, though. 
Okay, take care and I'll see you later. I'd also like to save in case I just totally waste my courageous flying man. I don't know quite how amazingly strong they are, I guess. Going to Tucson. I also do need to get the key item check at the shack that I neglected to get before just challenging Car Painter slot. Which I think I've just been calling Car Painter even though it's Frank. Uh, <laughs> you know. Uh oh. I guess I can find out where Paula is, for all the good that actually does. Uh, where's Paula's dad? Oh, you want to see Paula? Can you come here to see the, her miraculous powers? We're not from a TV station. Paula said she'd only meet with the boy named Ness, so you're Ness. You're the one that was in Paula's dream. You'll save the world. Then go call Paula. But she's not home. Doesn't seem to be here. I wonder where she went. Come back later. We'll get a psychic message as we leave. Or something? Hello, Ness. The room has a message for you. It's kidnapped by cultists. That's the whole message. I'm out of here. Okay, so it wasn't psychic. I thought it was for some reason. Anyway, apparently she's vanilla. HP of damage to Flying Man. Flying Man did 178. I guess, can you save in... Uh... Happy Happy Village? Like, probably, right? would likely not be a bad idea. Alright, remembering what the bridges are all working right now. I guess last time I was also checking for items. Hmm. I gotta save Sai. Alright, Flying Man resisted Brain Shock. Mashing through. Okay, didn't actually take that much damage. Might as well life up. Should have probably just rockened that last enemy group. Magic butterflies aren't usually too hard to find at this point in the game. Oh! Oh no. It's the same enemy group. I wonder if the flying man has rolling health. These, uh, tree explosions might actually, like, seriously be wounding him. Oh. Or maybe these NPCs don't properly take the explosion damage? I only saw a text box for Ness go by. Although, I was mashing with yikes speed text. Anyway, we got life up beta. That's neat. Why was one of the snakes approaching? We trust you. Feel free to shop here. What would you like to buy? All just consumables. The repel sandwich might be nice. How much do you want to pay? I just decided not to buy anything. I'm not actually familiar with this shop, but... It's just 38. 
It's paid 38 at the self-service stand. You're monitoring those who pay don't pay at the food stand. They've already paid? Oh, okay. Hmm. And I wasn't sure if there was, like, somewhere to rest around here. What's with the red house? Oh. Okay. There's a Mr. Saturn there. Excuse me, tourist. I'm collecting donations to help protect the world from contaminants. It'll be my shadow, since I didn't donate. But I'm way too fast. Oh, that... Not the way to the cave. Yeah, I could go into the area to try to get the My Sanctuary location, but I... don't really see the point of doing that right now. Yes. So glad to see you. You can't open the door without the cabin key. Maybe this key to... Yeah, maybe the key to the shack will help me find the cabin key. Oh, wait, no. Key to the shack, that's for Onet. Right? It's not just weirdly named. Yeah. They are different items. It would have been funny though. It, I don't see why it wouldn't be possible for the trapped person to actually have the key. Anyway, is there really no phone around here? Oh, it's you again. I thought there was like an outdoor payphone or something. Less inclined to challenge Frank, the car painter, if I can't actually save again. Not sure why I went in. I guess just in case, like, you need to return from that cave to get the teleport location. Drugstore? Ah, this has a phone. What do you sell? Secret herbs. Uh, various equipments. Okay, I have a minor league bat. I feel like I paid close to that for my bat though, so it's probably not that much better. I'm gonna try to hold out for skipping more equipment at once. We did just save. Okay, where's the actual most important? Is it this one? Yeah, okay. Also, I should probably... Check this present? I might have done this last time. There's a toothbrush, right, but I had a full inventory. What's the toothbrush even do? Anything? Can be used during battle, gone after one use. Doesn't sound promising. I've, again, forgotten the way through the cultist maze. Wait, it's this way? No. I feel like the ones that fight you are probably actually still gone from last time. so much lag it barely even seemed like I was holding the run button. I let go of it briefly a couple times just to see. Oops! I answered yes. I was a fool and fell into his trap. Alright. Uh, what is the damage on freeze? Okay, Flying Man has a lot of health. Okay. He appears to be vulnerable to freeze. Uh, 
Ah, the flying man missed. Flying man got hurt and collapsed. Alright, wasted turn, excellent. Nice! 10,000 experience! Level 21, level 22, rock and beta. That was probably worth a flying man. You see the money, money statue behind me? This is inside, yeah, the statue wanted to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. Here's the carrot key. Take the carrot key and go. Now I've got two keys, but I don't have a way to get to where the carrot key goes right now. So let's just, uh, drop this toothbrush. Maybe I should be trying the cave while I'm here, in order to not, like, have to walk through Peaceful Rest Valley again, but it wasn't particularly hard to walk through Peaceful Rest Valley. And it will only get easier. Oh wow, I've been going on for like 21 minutes. A shack is very similar to a cabin. Door is locked, yes. Maybe I should go up and stash the carrot key, but... Let's just check out in here. Actually, isn't this just for my sanctuary? I don't think I actually really have a reason to be here. Pulling up the... notes... Um... Yeah, it's just to your sanctuary. We can do it later, but we've at least got the key out of our inventory. So what next? Back to three? Is there something I can do there? Uh, no. Uh, foresight maybe? Actually, let's... Just see how Mole Cave looks. Maybe actually after, I should really make an inventory space. It's gonna be a struggle as long as I only have one person. Early Flying Man was cool. I don't mind getting 10,000 experience from a boss. But also... Sure would be neat to have another page of inventory. Oh yeah, I have an extra great charm too. We don't need to have that on us right now. I don't know if we need to have that on us ever, but I'd rather stash it than sell it for whatever. Missing 10 psychic points and 11 HP. I'm just gonna go. the map here. Um, that doesn't seem like the right spot. I feel like the, uh, the mole cave is fairly far right in the desert, though. That's why I'm starting out by going right. Ah. 
a guy. Oh. I didn't realize there was a rest site here. So wait, how do I actually find out what item's in the mine without doing the mine? The you? Can't talk to the... Oh, it's you. Okay. I was mining for key to the cabins. Five big spooks. Okay. Yeah, reduced encounter rate. Very convenient. Although <laughs> that might mean I find out what level this area is by uh, encountering a big spook. Okay, that at least killed. Oh, department store spook. I'm one of the masters of this hole. There are five masters in all. We are spooks, of course. I believe I'm the third strongest among us. Take your best shot. And I wish I'd... Oh, wait. Epsilon? 94 damage. So that hurt, but... We're fine-ish. Yeah. Thousand some XP. A pizza. Yeah, I kind of wish as I was going through Peaceful Rest Valley earlier, I had uh, actually picked up the Psy Carmel. But I guess I took the bridges and went real fast. Can't exactly hate that. I just like despawn you. Yep. He not cheese bar? One of Mr. Saturn's favorite food. It tastes pretty yummy. It restores about 100 HP. Okay. with the filthy fangs. Or from them. Inside there was a chick. Ness took it. I don't really... want a chick. There we are. That was a, a shortcut that was added to randomizer with the R button. Exit mice. Toothbrush. So if I hit B, then it asks if I want to drop it. Got money. Huh. I shouldn't have... Okay, maybe I shouldn't have filled one of my inventory slots with an exit mouse. It's a spook. He's really the third strongest master. They just die? More money. Earthbound really doesn't directly give you money, does it? Rock and beta? There to be fewer things up there. Here we go. Uh, I think I just have to fight at this point. Gigantic ant. Gonna try to save some PP here. Oh. 
Well, that cold's inconvenient. Psi magnet's inconvenient. Healing beta. I may not have enough freezes left to deal with the remaining spooks. Okay, your strength is between the second and fourth masters. I guess if I don't kill with the first freeze, I can just bash. And <laughs> take barely any damage. Because I don't have to wait through an animation. There's a viper. Probably just poisons an enemy? It always poisons the enemy. Alright. Probably don't care about poisoning an enemy, honestly. Gimme. <laughs> oh, I've been this way. I've been this way. Oh. Alright, if I don't scroll them as far onto the screen, I don't have to. An okay, pendant. more defense. Also, does it grant any resistances? I think this is a new item to randomizer. Protects you from fire, freeze, and flash attacks, but just a little. How far off screen does something need to get before it despawns? Maybe I can just... No. Uh, I cannot just... Okay, they all disrupted my senses. I don't have the brainstone. Wait, I do have the brainstone. Shouldn't I? Hmm. This was able to concentrate. Bash them. I'm losing all my PP to their spinning things. Wait, did I say pew pew pew? or the fifth one? Can I just bash them for decent damage? 69 damage to Ness. So yeah, I think that charm is about 25% resistance. Oh, my caramel. The zip gun. Pizza normally heals the whole party. No, it just heals one person. It's like a large pizza heals the whole party. I was gonna say right? Is that not right? So let's just exit mouse, I think. Oh, in that case I shouldn't have used the pizza. I wanna check though if I actually finished the quest. And then since I'm out here anyway, we might as well rest. Yeah, wasted pizza. Is it 
been almost 35 minutes, but I want to finish off the cave while I still have some vague awareness of where I've been. Fine. We have plenty of PP now, can just blast him. Yeah, this area does seem like it's scaled significantly down from vanilla, since the snakes don't even inflict poison. Is there another way I could go? Let's go down from here. This leads back to the exit mouse area. Again, won't take the other one along. Oh wow, well, they made it over. I'm definitely a little unsure of where I've been, but it would be worse if I waited. You know, until next episode. The fact that that present wasn't looted is suspicious. But I've clearly been here. Looks like there was a spook there. reaching for Sai immediately. Oops. Well, that's fine. I wanted to cast healing. Um. Yeah. Maybe I should just be bashing snakes, though. <laughs> well. Would have lost fewer PP if I just cast Freeze. Connects to where I just was, I thought. Maybe I do need like a map for this area. Now that's that. I feel like it's that ladder there that I haven't been down though. Possibly. So we're going back where I came in through. Eh, uh, running away doesn't work. It's just auto fight though. Text goes really slow while auto fighting. Yeah, level up. Yeah, have I been this way? I have. I also don't think I ever realized how many enemies move at, like, faster than skip sandwich speed. 
maybe they sped up the enemies as part of the randomizer changes. Okay, yeah, we're at the mine entrance. So I could go get healed, but I just want to get done. up there? Why is there an enemy plate? I don't know if I'm moving far enough away. So there's some direction I keep skipping over. Teddy bear. was at least a little suspicious that there was still a present there. Oh no. Teddy bears dead. Apparently teddy bears don't have very much defense. Enemies that can call for help are dead. Ah, the spook. Okay, I'll see the advantage of being third. Seventy-five damage and solidify. Sufficient to survive my bash. Oh, the music changes when you're done. Save and quit. <laughs> All right, I got rid of the monster. Got the key to the cabin while the spooks were distracted. Yeah, that'll be it for this part. In the next part, we'll go get Paula. And actually have a second character. Yeah.